Okay, finally, Kirsten Gillibrand has responded to David Grush's amazing, incredible, groundbreaking claims. So let's talk about it. Get in here. This is Jack with Cosmic Road. I talk about UFOs and the paranormal. Please hit like, please subscribe, share on social media, and let me know what you think in the comments below. All right, ever since the David Grush story came out, people have been wondering where Kirsten Gillibrand is. Why has she been so silent on this issue? After all, David Grush is essentially refuting what Sean Kirkpatrick said, and she is the one that uh, had the opportunity to grill Sean Kirkpatrick in the hearing in Congress a few weeks ago. She did not grill him. She just gave him a soft pass and let him peddle his lies. And now David Grush has called him out on that. So let's see how Kirsten Gillibrand responds. She says, we need to just look into whether there are rogue special access programs, SAPs, that no one is presiding oversight for, says Kirsten Gillibrand. Uh, uh, the goal for me will be to have a hearing on that at some point so we can assess if these SAPs actually exist. <laughs> She's going to have another hearing. Let's, let's have another hearing. That'll determine whether these special access programs exist. Let's get Sean Kirkpatrick to testify. I'm sure he'll tell us the truth, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's have another hearing presided over by Kirsten Gillibrand and, if possible, Senator Ernst. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's, that's, yeah. Uh, but it, it does go on. It does get better. She says Gillibrand is sponsoring an amendment she hopes to attach to this year's must pass National Defense Authorization Act to mandate that no money can be spent on SAPs unless it's been reported to Congress. So if there are SAPs out there that are somehow outside of the normal chain of command and outside the normal appropriations process, they will have to divulge that to Congress. As for whether she thinks there's any veracity to the whistleblower's claims, I have no idea, she says. So I'm going to do the work and analyze it and figure it out. So, uh, yeah, oh, other senators say there isn't much to figure out. Generally, I would look skeptically at many of those reports. Uh, what I take seriously is sometimes we just have these really good decorated pilots and navigators. So, yeah, it's all about the pilots and, and that kind of stuff. But the deeper stuff doesn't exist. We're going to have to hold another hearing to figure it out. Now, I am kind of impressed by the proposed amendment which would say that Congress has to approve funds going to special access programs. I think that makes perfect sense, and that is the way it should be. However, they have been very clever about how they have done this over the, the many years, and when I say they, I'm talking about the control group, uh, over the many years they have been doing this, I, I find it difficult to imagine they wouldn't be able to get around this. Um, so, um, you know, and, and you know, I, I talked about in the most recent video I made about uh, the Marine Michael Herrera who saw the UFO in Indonesia and how there may or may not have been drugs being loaded aboard a man-made UFO. Um, you know, I, I hope it was drugs and not humans. Um, and uh, But that corroborates with what Lance Corporal Weigand said uh, about the Brazil case in the 90s. I, I, I want to say it was the 90s. And uh, in, in that instance, Lance Corporal Weigand believed that the control group that he saw, he was actually taken to their base. He was actually kind of arrested uh, for uh, appearing at a UFO crash before the control group got there. And uh, anyway, but based on his observations, he believed that the control group was funding themselves through drug running. So, and that may or may not be corroborated by the uh, Herrera case in Indonesia. So, they may have alternate sources of funding. They may not even need uh, Congress. But, you know, I, I'm sure they are getting money through the federal government. So, anyway, I, I think that that is a, a great amendment. I think that if they can make that stick, that would be wonderful. That could be a game changer. However... This is Kirsten Gillibrand doing it, and I don't have any faith in her anymore, sadly. 
So, you know, it is what it is, uh, but we'll see how it plays out. But I, I don't have a whole lot of hope in that measure. Um, I, I'm kind of very underwhelmed by her response to this. Um, and, you know, I guess it's about what I would have expected based on the hearing with Dr. Sean Kirkpatrick. However, there is another thing that I would like to discuss in this article and that is the dangers of politicizing anything involving uh, this, the, involving the phenomenon, involving disclosure, involving the study of UFOs. Um, you know, let me just read the first few paragraphs of this so you can see what I'm talking about. The United States Congress is strange enough without aliens, but here we are, or is it here they are? Over a span of several months, members of the 118th Congress have gone from being transfixed by wind-propelled spy balloons to being mesmerized by a whistleblower's claims. Okay, here's where it gets political. Uh, on one level, it's fitting that today's conspiracy-laced Congress, where anti-vaxxers berate scientists, election 2020 remains disputed, and January 6th rioters are praised as victims, is now tasked with tackling arguably the nation's most long-standing conspiracy, but many senators fear their houses, their house counterparts, melding of deep state with deep space, will only sow more confusion into an elaborate, uh, an electric hungry for answers. With which hearings about UAP, or, yeah, UAP, in recent years have failed to satisfactorily answer. Moving on, it says when Grush's report dropped, some members of today's far right immediately suspected it was a false flag planted by the deep state. We kind of felt with everything going on, this is like the biggest misdirection play in history, Steve Bannon told Tim Burchett. Their fears appeared to have largely dissipated, however, with Burchett and his far-right allies now all in on the investigation. And it goes on, but you can see the uh, bias implicit in this article. And that's very uh, disturbing to me that they would try to politicize this uh, issue and to say this is a far-right conspiracy. Uh, and it, it portrays the Democrats as being kind of against this and being more neutral or what have you. And, you know, that's, that's not true in any case. This has always been a bipartisan issue, and it always should be. The, this whole disclosure uh, era that we are living in was kickstarted by Harry Reid, a Democrat. Uh, Chris Mellon and the Mellon family uh, you know, they are not on the side of the conservatives. They are staunch Democrats. The Democrats have played a huge part in all of this, up to and including Kirsten Gillibrand, who uh, uh, sadly seems to have gone um, in the, you know, in the faction opposed to the Mellon faction. So this has nothing at all to do with politics. And I wanted to highlight that and highlight that this could be an effort by the control group to sow division in the ranks of ufology. And the dangers of that should be obvious. They want us fighting each other so they can continue to do their own thing. I mean, this article on Wired could have been written by the control group. I mean, it's that bad. I'm not saying it is, but that's the tenor of the article is to deliberately sow disinformation or to sow dissension uh, among ufologists. And we need to be on guard about that because as we may be getting closer and closer to the truth uh, with the David Grush story and Lou Elizondo and everybody else, um, they are going to take steps to prevent us from getting there. If they can get us fighting amongst each other over politics, uh, they will have won. We will not progress. This will become a political, a partisan issue and not um, a genuine effort into getting to the truth of the UFO phenomenon. And that's what we should be focused on, not this BS in the article. So I just wanted to point that out and get my thoughts out there that this should 
it always has been it sh and it should remain now and forever a bipartisan non-political issue so anyway whew, whew, okay not gonna get into politics uh but that's the whole point right so let me know your thoughts on kirsten gillibrand's response to the david grush story as well as the political bent of this article do you think that's a good idea or not to take this in a partisan direction uh let me know your thoughts but don't get political just just on the the hype you know you know what i'm saying you got me okay we're good if you've enjoyed this video give me a big thumbs up i sure would appreciate it smash the subscribe button and the bell to be notified of future videos uh, join me on social media. There's Facebook and Twitter links below. Love to see you guys there. Uh, please share this video on social media if you get a chance. And uh, yeah, buy some of my books. Uh, it would help to support the channel and allow me to spend more time on Cosmic Road. There are plenty of other videos for you to check out on the channel. And until next time, this is Jack with Cosmic Road signing out.